Sheena Brown. Hello? Hello? Hi, is this Mashanda? Yes, it is. How are you? I'm well. How are you? Good. I just wanted to, first off, thank you for taking my interview. Sure, no problem. Uh, your fans are, like, going crazy, inboxing me, saying you have to figure out who she shoe shops with. Like, she has some of the hottest shoes in the industry. So I was like, thank you. <laughs> Let me go ahead and reach out to America's sweetheart to figure out if she would interview us back. <laughs> <laughs> no problem. Let's do it. All right. So first off, we wanted to know, are you a hills or a flats kind of girl? No, I love hills. The only time I really wear flats is like early in the day or if I have a lot of errands to do, but I definitely love heels. One inch, two inch, three inch, four, or six? <laughs> definitely, I go up to six, definitely. Okay. It's a little weird to wear anything below four and a half, five now. <laughs> it just feels wrong. <laughs> so definitely, definitely six. Yeah, we call those your highest, hottest heels. <laughs> uh-huh. Pull them out and work them. <laughs> yes. So who's your favorite shoe designer? I, I absolutely love Alexander McQueen. Um, his stuff is very, it's like, a lot of it is like art and uh, really, it looks like it would almost break if you drop it, some of his shoes. Mm -hmm. But of course, Christian Louboutin is like, always been one of my favorites. I mean, a lot of women are just now getting into it, but I remember buying Louboutins like, God, as, well, as far as like, high school around that time so to like saving up and, and just trying to get a pair you know working right job to get a pair of Louboutin and Versace jeans and you know the <laughs> ultimate red bottom <laughs> hustle <laughs> in high school. but um you know people people can try different things too I mean Louboutins are great but there's so many other other brands out there definitely I um I think Louboutin is, you know, trending because of the red bottoms and people are noticing Definitely. them and, you know, Carrie Bradshaw and Definitely. the Sex Definitely. It's that City. type of shoe. Yeah, it's that type of shoe that, you know, people run to because it's like, you know. You'll know who it is. Red. You'll know exactly right away who it is. So exactly. It's easy, statement it's easy to make a statement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Agreed. So, um, what suggestions do you have for overcoming pain when you're rocking your highest, hottest heels? Do you like oh use insoles? Oh, my God. See, I'm quick to go sit down. <laughs> like, I'll be anywhere, like, and I'll be like, listen, I have to sit down. Like, you can go ahead. I'll meet up with you. So, I mean, the, <laughs> you take your break. the best thing, you know, I have to because you feel like your toes are numb, like they're falling off. But so you look so good doing I've, it, though. <laughs> I know. But what I've started to do now is to just get a, a half size bigger and then just put the um, insole in so I don't slide. Because normally the pain for me comes in the, the front area. Mm -hmm. So I figure if I give myself a little more room, I'll be okay. And that works. But um, Yeah, that's the ultimate. Definitely. Oh, sorry? I was saying that's the ultimate suicidal recipe is the half size oh, yeah. bigger with the insole. And I live also, by it. Recently, what I started doing is, like, if I if I have to go somewhere and I know I have to wear a pair of shoes that might hurt, I try not to eat salt during the day or do anything that'll make me bloat mm -hmm. because of a lot of a lot of that, you know, swollen swollen feet is what what causes the shoes to hurt more than normal. Because some days they won't hurt, and then I notice some days they do hurt because my feet are bloated. Yep, definitely, especially if you're in them all day. Mm-hmm. So, like, if you have a photo shoot day, do you go ahead and, like, um, wear flats throughout the day, and then when you get to the photo shoot, start to wear your heels? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, I have a, a little boy. He's going to be five. So most of my time when I'm with him, I, I have to stay in flats to keep up with him. So, <laughs> <laughs> How are you enjoying yeah. being a mother and embracing the new Mashanda? Oh, it's great all very good and 
exploring new adventures. That's awesome. So what should your fans expect for you from you? Like any upcoming projects? Are you going to do a CD or are you just going to stick to Definitely it? Definitely working on some music. Um, they can expect Starlet Mansion, my dress line. They can also expect a book. And, you know, every time I go out, I try to make a little fashion statement for the ladies so they can also keep up with the outfits and shoes. So in Starlet Mansion, is that... Um, some of the dresses that you've been appearing in lately at the BET Black Girls Rock and the Ween Awards, that was your dress line? Yeah, yeah. Jennifer Williams wore one for her birthday. Hot. And then I just, I just, thank you. <laughs> and I just recently wore one um, for the Ween Awards. So, you know, we're in the sample making process and it's a lot of work, but I love it so much. It's coming along really well. And what made you decide to go with um, dresses? I, I, Like I said, I've seen her dress and I've seen your dress, and all I can say is hot, like seriously. Well, the main reason why I did that is because, you know, every time I want to go out or my girls want to go out, we always struggle finding the perfect party dress. Mm -hmm. Like right now, Starlet Mansion is focusing in on party dresses, like that dress that you step in is like, what did she have on? And a lot of the high-end designers, they don't make party dresses. So, I mean, if you're going to wear a statement shoe and a regular outfit, that's fine. But sometimes you need a statement dress and a basic shoe. So that's where I come in. I agree. Oh, I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Do you have, like, <laughs> <laughs> a ETA or should we just? Definitely um, aiming for Fashion Week in February. So definitely around spring, summer. Please invite me <laughs> so I can. I will. <laughs> I would definitely love to premiere that so that the fans can have the first look and see what Mashonda is. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> and as for your um, memoir, Death of a Mermaid, what are you hoping your fans will get out of that? Um. Well, the name has definitely changed. And, oh. Um, yeah, I'm not disclosing the name as okay. of yet, but. <laughs> My fans and the readers can definitely just get a, an incredible journey that a young girl decided to take and, you know, just how how she's learned so much from each experience. It's, it's an uplifting book, mm -hmm. so that's just really what I want people to, to focus in on. Yeah, we truly want to thank you and praise you for having, you know, what we've seen as such a tragic story play out in the media but you overcame it with such grace and elegance Definitely. and we are so and grateful I thank, I thank god i thank god and i thank my son because you know every day i look at him and he just gives me so much strength and motivation to keep on pushing so definitely have to thank them and I definitely want to thank all my fans and supporters and believers that send me so much love on Facebook and Twitter and just want to thank them because they, they give me life every day as well oh gosh that's so awesome you are such a empowering woman and we thank you for being an inspiration to young black women every day do definitely you, do you have any last words you'd like to leave to aspiring young ladies trying to make it in the industry or just trying to make it in yes. general? Um, yes, I just want them to know that no one can stop their dreams and they just have to keep on believing in themselves and just wake up every morning with a plan and a focus and make it come to life because at the end of the day, we are all we have <laughs> as women. That's yes. It. Yep. And then with so many of us being so negative towards one another, it's just exactly. great to see. Yeah, and stop the, they need to stop the, 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 the hate and just focus more on being one. And we could do so much more if we just unite and respect each other. Exactly. I follow you on Twitter, and I think the relationship that you have with Jennifer is amazing from what I can tell you guys. <laughs> yes, that's my doll. She's <laughs> sweetie. <laughs> so I definitely know she's one of the ladies that you hang out with and she has yeah. she seems to have a great personality. Hopefully we'll get her get the shoe shop with her one day as well. So oh, let yeah, her know her shoe collection is nuts. <laughs> so let her know to get I in care. touch with me. <laughs> okay, I will. 
All right. Thank you so much. What's your, um, I will, I'll send you like a picture of these new shoes I just got that are real crazy and they're going to be really hard for everybody to find. Oh, please so do. I think I'll get your, yeah, I'll get your email address from Just Lane. Yes. Get my email address from her. We are on, I'm Shoe Hotline on Twitter. So, you okay. know. Um, I'll definitely, okay. if you would like, I can, once I transcribe the interview, I can send it to her for you to review or. Um, oh, no, I trust you. I'm a writer, so I, I can tell it's going to be a good interview. <laughs> oh, thank you. So I definitely will, um, make sure I tag you on Twitter so that you share it with your friends. Cause I think definitely it's awesome. Okay. And I, I appreciate you. Thanks, no Matanda. problem. Take care and good luck. Bye. Okay. Babe, I think Bye. I saw you. I think I saw you Babe, I think I saw you sitting up over there I don't really know what you're about I don't care Matter of fact, I do I need to know your name, what you're about Try to figure you out I just need to know Hey. Yeah.